folks, Rich here with FMS Models. Today I have a really exciting airplane to show you. Uh, if you're looking for tons of speed and performance in a small package, uh, then look no further than the uh, 980 millimeter wingspan P47 uh, Thunderbolt Razorback. Uh, this is one impressive airplane. Uh, I've clocked it on radar at over 100 miles an hour right out of the box without any modifications or anything. Um, but there are going to be two versions of the airplane. There's going to be a normal speed version and a high speed version. I'm going to show you the high speed version today. Both planes are essentially the identical airframe and everything. The only difference is, is in the power plant and, and, and the flap system. Now, the uh, normal speed version has a 35, 36, 750 kV brushless outrunner with a 35 amp uh, ESC. Uh, and it runs on three cells, uh, an 1800 milliamp uh, pack or higher. Uh, with no flaps. Plenty of speed there, 80, 85, 90 miles an hour roughly. Um, but when you get into the high speed version here like I'm going to show you today, it has a lot more motor in it. Um, it's a 3648 770 kV outrunner with a huge 70 amp speed controller in the thing. Um, it runs on four cells and I'm running it here with a 2200 milliamp pack and of course the airplane uh, has flaps. Uh, uh, a general overview of the entire airplane, uh, both versions. Uh, it's all EPO foam. Uh, it assembles really with just a few screws. The wing goes on with four screws. Uh, your tail goes on with uh, three screws. You put your propeller on. It comes with contact cement so you can glue your gun detail on and so forth, your pitot tubes. Um, and a little antenna back here, which you can choose to put on or not. Uh, I, I actually chose to leave mine off because I transport the plane a lot. Sometimes we tear those off, but it has lots of scale detail uh, for a small airplane. Even has uh, wingtip lights on it and so forth. And the paint scheme you see here is actually modeled after the real uh, Little Chief uh, P-47. Um, now, uh, to give you a, 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 a quick look at some of the details on it, it has this really beautiful four-bladed uh, scale propeller with all the Hamilton standard decals uh, on it already, and it just goes on with, uh, with one prop nut. Uh, the inside of the canopy, if Ron can zoom in on here, uh, there's a lot of detail in here with the pilot. Even being such a small airplane, it has instruments in it uh, and, and so forth. Um, and, uh, and some kill markings there on the side. Now I'm going to flip this up, just show you the inside here really fast. Ron's going to zoom in here. Very simple arrangement. You can see here your, uh, your elevator and your rudder servos. Uh, my Futaba receiver you can see plugged in there uh, and just Velcroed in real nice. Uh, and your battery simply just fits up here. Uh, I tape my antennas right here to the side so they're 90 degrees to each other. And as you can see, it's a very, very, um, very simple package the way that goes in. Now the canopy is magnetic. It goes on really, really simply. It just has this tape in the back. You can see how it just goes right on, secures nicely, and again, lifts up uh, with tape. Now I'm going to flip this thing upside down and show you some of the features under here. There's really a lot to look, look at uh, under here, and there's a lot really to uh, this, this little model. Normally models don't come with all these kinds of details, but there's really a lot to this. Now first and foremost, there is a, a drop tank that just slips on and off. Um, and uh, and uh, it's just, you can take it on or off, fly it with or without if, if you'd like. Now, starting with the retracts, all metal trunnions in these things, I'll go ahead and retract them for you. Uh, very clean, right out of the box, operates like this, and uh, very, very tough landing gear. I've had lots of landings on this. Um, taking a look underneath, you can see the, your, your flap servos, your aileron servos. And uh, one of the biggest features I wanted to point out really, which Ron hopefully can zoom in on here, uh, is the, uh, the ball links. FMS uh, with this model has completely redesigned a whole new set of linkages uh, to include these super nice uh, uh, ball links, folks. It's, uh, it's very impressive. The entire tail unit has all, all ball links. All the wings and flaps have ball links. And, uh, and it uh, just makes for really precise uh, control uh, of the model. Now as I flip this thing uh, over here, I'm going to have Ron zoom in here on the, uh, on the flaps. Uh, and you can see the flaps are pre-programmed uh, with a slowdown unit in them. So, so you, know, you don't get that huge ballooning effect when you, when you select your flaps. I went ahead and put in two settings uh, on my uh, three position switch. Uh, so I have like a takeoff and, uh, and a landing uh, flap setting. Uh, overall guys, it's a real nice package which you're about to see in the, uh, in the flight demo. Uh, and with that, without further delay, let's go ahead and get this thing out to the runway. And I'm going to give you a, a flight demo of the uh, 980 millimeter 
P47 Thunderbolt Razorback from uh, FMS. Taxing the P47 out on the uh, grass tends to be a little bit of a challenge because of the wheels, but if you're careful with it, you can get it out there. You just want to very carefully ease the throttle into about half. And as it rolls down the runway, just put your rudder in as you need it. Comes up on two wheels and away we go. Gear's coming up. I'm only at about half throttle right now. And uh, I didn't use any flaps on takeoff because that tends to nose the airplane over a little more. I'll do a slow pass for everybody down the runway. This is, this is clean, guys. See how nicely it flies clean? I'll go ahead and bring it to the downwind and uh, roll it around for you. This plane is good at high speed and low speed. In fact, uh, I'll, uh, I'll bring it by slow again. In fact, I'm gonna bring it by without any flaps at all again, just to show you how nicely this thing flies slow. I'm about half throttle. I'll turn out here to the downwind and just do some slow turns out here for you guys. Just to show you that even though this is a rocket fast airplane, uh, it'll fly nicely slow too. You can see how well it handles. All right, now I'll turn up the heat here a little bit and I'll just uh, go full throttle for you. I'll line it up on the center line. Pete's going to try to follow this with the uh, camera. Full throttle right down the runway. Do a Cuban 8. And you can see how fast this thing will go. Uh, again, we clocked this thing at 100 miles an hour. Uh, actually, 104 to be exact. I'll bring it by again fast here. Blazingly fast, guys. Lots of fun, lots of speed, lots of performance. Fun airplane. It can be a little twitchy, so you want to put a little bit of uh, expo and a little bit of dual rate in there, a little bit of expo, especially in your elevator when you're flying real fast. All right, and I'll bring it uh, down the center line of the runway here. Roll it upside down. Fly nice upside down. I'll just keep it upside down. And I'll bring it down the runway here, real carefully. At about half throttle. Very aerobatic. It'll handle anything nicely. All right, guys, I'll bring it down the center line of the runway and go vertical with it. You can see how much performance this thing has. It'll just go up and up and up out of sight. Um, in fact, I'm starting to lose it, guys, visually, so I'll bring it back down, straight down, I'll just roll it, so he can follow it a little better, and a recover. But you can see lots of power with this thing, guys, it's just got so much speed, so much performance. I'll bring it here into the center for some steep turns. You can just see how this thing moves. Lots and lots of speed and power. Bring it a little farther out so Pete can follow it. This is a tough airplane to film, guys. Pete's doing pretty good with this thing. It's a challenge to follow this thing at the speed it's going at. In the turns, it's probably doing 90 something. And it just moves. All right, guys, I'll bring it down the center line again. One more high speed pass with it. Absolutely awesome. Woo! Yeah. All right, lots of fun with this thing, guys. It is a pocket rocket. But again, you can slow it back down. I'll slow it down here and bring it by slowly. So it's a very tame plane. You know, as long as you're careful with the power, because it's got lots and lots of power and it will roll and torque on you if you uh, jam the throttle forward. So when you add power with this thing, you uh, definitely want to do it smoothly. That's just a great flying little plane, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and bring it in for a landing. Get the landing gear down. It comes down pretty quick. I'm going to leave the flaps up for landing because uh, flaps down on grass really has a tendency to make the airplane nose over quite a bit. So and this plane flies slow, flies slow enough without the flaps. So we'll go ahead and bring it in here. Bringing it in as smooth as we can. There we go. All right, guys. Simply outstanding. Just a fast rocket, fast model. Lots of fun to fly. All right, guys. As you can see from that flight demo, this is one rocket fast airplane. Uh, very stable at high speed flight. 
very aerobatic, um, um, flies inverted nice, uh, lots of vertical performance. Um, it is just a, uh, a, just a top notch flying airplane. Uh, most importantly, especially with the high speed version, uh, you do want to be careful on takeoff because the airplane does have so much power uh, that it will torque and yaw and roll off to the left. I actually cartwheeled one myself and destroyed one uh, just because I was using too much power. So um, as you saw during the takeoff, really only need about half throttle as with most FMS airplanes uh, to get this, thing, uh, get this thing off the ground. Uh, taxiing out, I like to use a, uh, a high rate on the elevator so I have more uh, uh, elevator deflection, especially when I'm on um, grass, because it can have a tendency to nose over on grass a little bit, but if you have a little, a little extra elevator back there, uh, it'll help, uh, help keep that tail uh, on the ground. Um, one important note I do want to make about, the, about this airplane I've been finding, the, the more I fly the airplane, I, I've broken a few propellers, it's probably not a bad idea to get a couple spares. Um, but regarding the propeller, um, I found most of them needed to be balanced. So it's very important because of the speed of this plane and how fast that prop's turning. Um, you really want to make sure your prop is very, uh, very uh, um, um, accurately balanced. So get a balancer, make sure your prop is balanced before you go fly it, and uh, you'll have a ton of fun with this thing. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, overall, it's a nice package. Um, you've got uh, um, a full featured airplane in a small package with lots of performance. It's just, uh, it's just a, a fun airplane to fly, builds real easy, obviously transports easy because of its size. Uh, just a real impressive model. Anyway guys, thanks for checking out this video on the 980mm uh, P47 uh, Thunderbolt. Uh, thanks for checking out this video, thanks for watching uh, FMS models, and as always, we'll see you next time.